Okay, so again, good morning at all. I skip uh, my self presentation and I directly go to the first slide. Um, with the, this second presentation, I want to show you a result from the LIDAR characterization of the Stromboli volcanic plume, always during the summer of 2019. Uh, okay, also for this campaign, we use uh, Ampol and um, Okay, for the specific characterization, I link it to the previous uh, presentation. And uh, we do in this campaign uh, after the huge eruption of the Stromboli um, in, uh, in, in summary 2019. But uh, luckily, uh, during the campaign, the Stromboli activity was uh, labeled as a normal explosive activity from the ING report. And uh, uh, a little uh, increase in frequency of the degassing activity. Uh, I want to uh, highlight that uh, this is the first LiDAR measurement on the Stromboli uh, for the optical and geometrical classification of the volcanic plume. And uh, also in this case, uh, as you can see uh, from the picture, in the picture, uh, we uh, do a measurement in Zenith and um, in, uh, in a scanning mode, but unfortunately, due to technical reasons, only daytime data are available for this, uh, for this campaign. Okay, I want to show you um, a part of this uh, acquisition uh, and data from the 18th of September, and uh, it was the last part of the, um, the day campaign. And, um, uh, in this um, in this acquisition, we we, we take data um, with a, um, an angle of 50 degree, and uh, I think that is very interesting because we uh, note two do two um, two layer. One is higher and start around one kilometer, um, and um, a second one. Um, lower in the atmosphere, below one kilometer, that is very fast. Um, and uh, uh, it's very fast, but the, um, it return a, a signal that is higher than the background. So we labeled these two events as A and B, and we, um, we, we retrieve information about these two layer in terms of uh, optical and uh, geometrical property. And uh, here I show you uh, two profiles. Uh, they are integrated on um, five minutes. And uh, as you can see, the peak has a higher value of uh, the scattering compared to the large layer. But for the depolarization, the situation is opposite. OK, no more surprise for the, um, the large layer. That probably is due to Saran dust event. And this is. Um, uh, also clear from the high split model for the back trajectory of uh, higher masses. And we can see the, the red trajectory that starts uh, at the ground uh, in the desert, uh, in the southern desert. Uh, and during the travel uh, mixed with, um, there is a mix with uh, the other trajectory. And uh, we retrieved the um, uh, main information for the layer B and A. As regards B, these are mean value. And uh, also these values are uh, in good agreement with the hypothesis of, uh, of desert dust, uh, SAR and desert uh, dust. Uh, but as regards uh, the, the A event, uh, these are peak value. And um, we are some trouble because uh, the color index is uh, quite low. So we are in presence of a big particle, but the depolarization is very low. And um, during the investigation, I check also the uh, ING book camera because we took some picture during the campaign. And uh, we are quite sure, we are sure that uh, we, um, um, that we collect data about this um, um, small explosion of the volcano. Uh, this is just one frame, but we have frame of uh, all the 50 minutes of this event. And I think that is very particular and uh, is the first time that a LIDAR collects this uh, fast and dynamical explosion, uh, volcanic uh, explosion. 
and also um, from the um, uh, one minute integration of the, the, the LiDAR data, uh, we are able to um, track the um, completely dynamic of this uh, event. Uh, so we have one minute, uh, the first minute in which we start, then go and uh, they, they end. Okay, it's just a um, preliminary result. I want to uh, implement this, um, uh, this, uh, this research with um, the, the polarization ratio, also in this case at, at the 355 nanometer, and also the ratio of the polarization ratio, we think that uh, retar uh, can return us very interesting uh, information. And we want to compare also this with the UV camera that was available for that view. So that's all. Thank you so much.